Photopedia said, Jesus said, if you look at someone's wife with lust, that's adultery in the heart, not a random single lady. You still don't have it right. Well, I don't know what Bible you're reading, but mine says in Matthew 5, 28, Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. So if you're right and I'm wrong, how do you distinguish between a married woman and a single woman? You're in public, you see a gorgeous lady, you want lust after her, but before you do, you go up and say, excuse me, ma'am, are you married? And she says, yes. Say, well, I'm not going to lust after you. Dave Mestro says, hey, Ray, you do a very good job, but I can't understand how evolution is incompatible with God. This is probably a troll, but I'll answer it anyway. Many atheists or believers in evolution are confused between speciation and adaptation. We believe in speciation, varieties within species, such as the Great Dane and uh, the Chihuahua and the dog species. Adaptation, we believe, beats to adapt. But we don't believe in Darwinian evolution, that is, that man and primates have a common ancestor. The reason we don't believe it is because Jesus said in the beginning, God made male and female. He didn't make goo that turned into some sort of primate over millions of years and then evolved into mankind. So you've got a clash between what Jesus said and what Darwinian evolutionists believe. And uh, I know which one I choose. LL Unranked said, what can I say to women who believe the Bible teaches that women are worth less than men? Well, I think they're a little mixed up between other religions like Hinduism and Islam that treat women uh, like inferior beings. Christianity exalts women. The Bible exalts women. Read Proverbs 31. Read Ephesians chapter 5. Husbands, love your wives as Christ of the church. And the Bible says in Christ there's neither male nor female. So what they believe about the Bible is totally unfounded. Proud American said, I used to watch these clips for entertainment purposes only, but after watching enough, I started to cry and realized I was a sinner. I can't tell you what comments like this do to us at the ministry. It so encourages us. So if God's touched you through our ministry and or any other ministry, share it with the other ministry, share it with us because it really is a great encouragement to us. So thank you, uh, Proud American, for letting us know. God bless you.